This presentation details a case of spine regeneration. The case history is an 84-year-old female who is a practicing MD for over 40 years. She has a 20-year history of spinal degeneration, and during the period of this case, there were no changes to her meds or other therapy. This image illustrates an invasive osteophyte. We can see it right here as it traverses into the spinal column. You can see it's got a Y branch. Uh, the second significant invasion is down here between these two vertebrae. And you can see here that it travels or it expresses itself all the way into or nearly into the unmyelinated tissue at the core of the spinal column. I'm going to quickly flip contrast so we can see this one here a little better. So note that these are significant. Notice the osteophyte that formerly entered the spine almost to the unmyelinated tissue has apparently dissolved. Um, let's go ahead and traverse a couple of slides here. We could still see some indication, but it is much less dense and prevalent than it was in the previous slides. Let's switch to inverse contrast. And we can see right here that it's still present, but it's by no means as hard as it was before which is consistent with the decrease in symptoms. The following bone density comparisons provide useful information. Notice the difference in color between the core of the spinal cord and the myelinated tissue on the outside. What we've attempted to do is to match the contrast differential to enable us to speak to the apparent increase in density in the bones that make up the spinal column. In summary, the patient reported quality of life improvements which are consistent with the image data. She experienced increased waking comfort as well as improved sleep. The intervention consisted solely of six months of use of the sleeping pad product, which was placed beneath the sleep area in her bed, beneath the sheet. The apparent responses that we illustrate show a decrease in an invasive bone spur, improved spinal structure, and suggest significant increases in spinal bone density.